Today, I want to talk to you about a really common procedure called a bone marrow biopsy. It's often shown in movies as a super painful procedure, but sometimes I think it's misunderstood. If your doctor has recommended this procedure, you might have questions or concerns, and that's completely normal. My goal is to explain what it is, why it's done, and what to expect. Every bone in your body has two parts. It has the cortex, which is this very hard bone around it, which provides the support to all your structures, and the bone marrow, which is a very spongy tissue inside the bones. If you have ever eaten bone marrow or given marrow bones to your dogs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But bone marrow is not just food, you see? It plays a critical role in making all your blood cells, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. It is essentially the factory of all your blood cells. So doctors often make everything sound complicated, but it's actually really simple, so stay with me. When you have an unexplained anemia, which means your red blood cells are low, or your platelets are low, which is also called thrombocytopenia, or even when you have something called pancytopenia, when all your blood cell lines are low, then we need to find out why. So essentially, if you're having a problem with the cells, it could be because the factory, in this case, the bone marrow, is not working well for some reason, or the factory is actually fine and could be even working extra time but something else is destroying all the cells in the bloodstream, and the only way to find out is to do a bone marrow biopsy. You may also need a bone marrow biopsy if your white blood cells are way too high. In this case, we would be looking for a blood type of cancer called a leukemia. And there are many types of leukemias that we're not gonna go on in this video. Another common reason that we do a bone marrow biopsy is for patients that have been diagnosed with lymphoma or multiple myeloma, and we need to know if it's just in a particular location, such as a lymph node or a bone lesion, or everywhere, because sometimes it may change our treatment. So what is a bone marrow biopsy? A bone marrow biopsy is a procedure where we collect a small sample of tissue in the bone marrow. We then sent to usually a very special pathologist that will do a massive examination on the specimen, including looking in the microscope and running a bunch of fancy tests like flow cytometry, cytogenetics, fish tests, and many other things. It is very extensive and you will see in the reports. So where in the body a bone marrow biopsy is done? It essentially could be done in any bone in your body that has a marrow. But the most common area that we use for the biopsy is the back of the hip bone because it is big and fairly safe location since there's nothing essentially, no important organs near it. It is a very safe outpatient procedure that typically takes less than 10 minutes. In our practice, it is often done by our physician assistants. A bone marrow biopsy can be done anywhere. But in an interventional radiology practice like mine, we usually do this with imaging guidance so we can be sure to get the best specimens. Most of the time, we use twilight sedation, so although it's not general anesthesia, you're not going completely to sleep, but you will be very comfortable. We start the procedure by numbing the area with a local anesthetic, usually lidocaine, and that's the part that can have some discomfort. Once the area is numb, we use a special needle that we then drill in the bone to extract a small amount of the bone marrow tissue. We also draw some of the bloody material from the marrow called an aspirin. You might feel some pressure or pulling sensation throughout the procedure, but most patients say it's manageable. Afterwards, we apply usually a small amount of surgical glue in the site and you will rest briefly before you go home the same day. It is normal to feel some soreness at the procedure site for a day or two, but it usually goes away pretty quick. And most patients don't need any pain medication or they can take over-the-counter pain relievers. Any procedures have risks, but in this case, the risks of bleeding, infection, or persistent pain are minimal, and it, it's really, really rare. I know the idea of a bone marrow biopsy might sound intimidating or scary, but my team will do the best to make it a seamless experience. It is a straightforward procedure that provides vital information to guide your care. 
As always, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to our office. We're here to help.